Hello, hello people. How are you tonight? Good evening. Good to see you. Good evening, teacher. Ajá. Ustedes fueron a, a los cenades o se quedaron en la casa. Eh, ya no aplicamos para casa? eso. <risa> no aplicamos. <risa> a ver, mucho, mucho ganan. <risa> Está bueno, ¿eh? qué relajo los que vieron ahora. Sí, estuvo bastante feo, la verdad. Sí, 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 terrible. Pero bueno, ni modo, es la idiosincrasia de nuestro pueblo. Sí, verdad. Bueno. Porque los reclamos se pueden hacer en línea, porque yo no salí aplicable, pero, pero este, yo en línea hice el reclamo. Sí, pues sí, sí. Ay, poco a poco tiene que ir saliendo todo. ¿Verdad? Pero, sí, se entiende a veces la necesidad de la gente, pero... Ay, hombre. Se echa a perder mucho. Pero bueno. Hay que seguir batallando esto desde la casa, realmente. Eso es lo más... Es increíble que esta batalla se pueda ganar desde la casa, ¿verdad? Pero... Pero bueno, eso nos cuesta a veces. Ok. Vamos a iniciar. Let's get started tonight. We have eight participants already. Okay, vamos a compartir pantalla para arrancar esta noche. Ya estamos en la última semana. Okay, this is the last week for this module. Um, so we're about to finish tonight. We are going to start section five. But I just want want to check quickly the exercises for from section four. Did you finish the exercises from section four? Sí. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, yo no yo no he terminado. De hecho, de hecho empezando la voy. Ey, 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 ¿qué pasó? Me quedó tiempo. You're working. Así es. Ah, okay. Okay, I want to show you the answers for these exercises. Um, bueno, este creo que lo vimos. ¿Verdad? Ya lo hicimos. El 4.6. Yes. Is this, is this, sí, ese ya lo hicimos. Solo rapidito. Is this Jennifer's hat? No, it's not hers, it's mine. Are these are these your gloves? Are these your gloves? No, they're not my gloves. Let's no, ask not, Sally. No. Maybe they're her gloves. Uh, whose t-shirts? Whose t-shirts are these? Are they Julie's and Pat's? No, no, they're, they're not, not their t-shirts. But these socks are theirs. These socks 
And these shorts are yours. And these are, are yours. Hey, these are not our clothes. Hey, these are not our clothes. You're right, ours are over there. You're right, ours are over there. Over there. Over there. Okay. <laughs> over there. Over there is como decir ahí. Ahí está. Las tuyas están ahí, over there. Okay. Okay, the next exercise. Let's take a look to the next exercise. Next, in the glass, you will become familiar with the word is season. It's exercise 4.11. Um, my name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too. Mira las fotos e ingrese las respuestas. Okay, para avanzar, vamos a irnos directamente a las respuestas. <coughs> Okay. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing, oh, I am wearing high heels too. Esa sería la respuesta. I'm wearing, oh, I am wearing high heels too. I'm wearing. Cualquiera de las dos. Cualquiera de las dos. It's raining, but I am not wearing, oh, I'm not wearing a raincoat. O sea, cualquiera de las dos es correcta. Uh, a veces hay que tener cuidado con una letra, con el, la, el apóstrofe. Ya, ya no. Es igual. Yo no tuve problema ahí. ¿eh? A mí me da error. Habría que ver cómo la pusiste, porque sí. Ahorita va el grupo, ya ahora. Si quieren, revisemos todo y vemos luego los problemitas. Okay. Um, this picture. It's hot today. Tosi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's very sunny, but they... They are not wearing... Or they aren't wearing... Or they are not wearing sunglasses. No, no. Cualquiera de las tres formas es correcta. Phil is wearing a suit today. He is wearing a brown shirt. Or he is wearing a brown shirt. But he, but he is not wearing, or oh, he is not wearing, or oh, he isn't wearing a tie today. Cualquiera de las tres formas, okay? This picture, it's cold today, but Kathy isn't wearing a coat. She is wearing or oh, she's wearing. No, no. Es decir, en una el is está completo y en otra está contractado. 
Uh, she is not wearing boots. Or she is not wearing boots. Or she isn't wearing boots. She is wearing or she's wearing sneakers. Okay. La primera, la segunda y la última. Me salen cinco, seis, todas me salen mal. Tienen que tener cuidado en la escritura, en espacios de más puntos. ¿Verdad? A ver, alguien me está mandando por aquí. Vamos a ver qué le. No le aparece, no, no es que... Dice, I am wearing, está bien. I am not wearing suit today. But I am not. Yo creo que entre ese not y wearing, el que me mandó la imagen, creo que le ha puesto un espacio de más. No, que el que mandó la imagen al grupo, no sé si lo logran ver ahí los demás, pero ahí pareciera que hay un espacio de más. Después de I am not. Ajá, después de I am not. Revisen eso. Estoy todavía. Vamos a ver cuál es la respuesta de esta. Bien. Pero como ven, es el uso del to be. Y el verbo en ing. Es básicamente. Si alguien tiene después problemas, me escriben al final de la clase. Aquí solo se los muestro, no es que lo vayan copiando. Se supone que lo tienen que hacer ustedes. Yo todo lo voy copiando. Nada, nada. Trabájelo. Toma, salió mal, toma, salió mal. Muy rápido lo mostró. Ajá. Nada, dice. Ahí lo vemos después si querés, Alexa. Ok. El, the next exercise is to look at the image below and answer the questions with short answers. Nice. De acuerdo a esta imagen, ¿verdad? Vamos a ir de una vez a las respuestas para avanzar. Wow. Is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Yes, he is. Mire todas las formas que le han puesto posibles por algún errorcito de dedo, ¿verdad? Yes, he is. Yes, he, yes, he is. Todo eso es un yes, he. Lo, lo estrictamente correcto sería la primera, ¿verdad? Yes, comma, he is. Eso sería lo estrictamente perfecto. Ahora. Pero les han dado chance ahí, ahí están las otras opciones. Si no le pusieron la coma, si no le pusieron mayúscula, si le pusieron mayúscula y no la coma, ¿verdad? Sí. Se los vale. Is Nick wearing sunglasses? Se llama Nick. 
Nick, este es Nick. Wearing sunglasses, no. No, no he's not. ¿Verdad? No, he's not. No, he is not. No, he is. En todas las diferentes formas correctas. Aquí están. Es básicamente un no, he's not. Bueno, cualquiera de estas formas es correcto. Is Beth wearing a purple jacket and pants? Beth. Beth. Purple jacket and pants. Is Beth wearing a purple jacket and pants? ¿Qué dicen? Yes or no? Yes. 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 ¿Cómo sería? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. ¿Verdad? Is Beth? Yes, she is. Están las diferentes formas. Next, is John wearing blue jeans? Veamos a John. ¿Cuál es John? Este es John. Is John wearing blue jeans? No, he is not. No, he's not. ¿Verdad? No, he's not. No, he isn't. Ok, las diferentes opciones. Hasta el punto, ¿verdad? Si les ponen o no. Five. Is Anita wearing a yellow skirt? Is Anita? No, ¿verdad? No, she's not. Anita, no, she's not. No, she isn't. ¿Verdad? O sea, no. Ok, espero que los que no lo han hecho, pues ya les dimos una, una ojeada de cómo va. Yo soy la primera de Bruce, es que intenté de todas las formas y nunca me salió buena. Bruce. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Como le digo, a ver, sí, porque aquí tratan de contemplar todas las posibilidades. Entonces, si, si una de las que ustedes ponen no es ninguna de esas, si hay algún espacio de más, ahí puede estar el problema. Porque aquí, por ejemplo, no han contemplado en ninguna que usted le ponga una mayúscula aquí. Si alguien le puso mayúscula aquí, ya no se le va a tomar como uno. En Entonces, algunos ¿sabes? casos de una es la toma, la toma que hay que poner las mayúsculas, si no, no se la toma buena. Sí, dependiendo, porque aquí la inicial sí tiene que ser mayúscula. La cuatro, no sé, me ayudo de ahí porque no la vi bien. Vale, la cuatro dice, ¿Is John wearing blue jeans? No, John. ¿Is John wearing blue jeans, Alexa? No. John ahí este es John. Este es John. Aquí, aquí te lo estoy mostrando. No, he's not. Ok. No, pero no me la agarra como buena. No, he's not. No tiene, pero no me la agarra como buena. Intente que la primera sea mayúscula eh, o que no sea y que no lleve el apóstrofe. Intente de todas las formas. Sí. Porque a mí no. me costó porque por un medio, una media cosita, Ya la hice, le puse, ya le puse no mayúscula, N mayúscula, la comilla y el apóstrofe. Y me salió bien. Ah, ok. Que quiera y que le, de, que le ayude con la clase, pues ahí está. <risa> Eso. Oh, me voy a descansar, ¿no? <laughs> okay. Let's get started then with with unit five or section section five. Okay. Ay, qué barbaridad. Section five. Here we go. Section five. Yeah. Okay. Eh, todo el mundo consultando los 300 dólares se pone lento el inter. Ok. <laughs> Thank you. 
Miren qué lento se me ha puesto. Okay, we have a conversation for this for this lesson, for this section, okay? The topic is what time is it there? What time is it there? Okay, let me play this video. I'm going to mute your microphones for a moment and watch the video. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi Debbie, this is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums. By looking at the map, which cities are in the same time zone? Which cities are in your time zone? Two, two, two. Where is it? Okay, let's practice the conversation. Well, first, so we have this map with different cities. With different cities. Just, just to practice vocabulary about cities around the world, okay? Let's practice, repeat after me. Vancouver. 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 Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Mexico City. Mexico City. Lima. 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 Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Brasilia. 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 San Juan. San Juan. San Juan. New York City. New York City. New York City. Montreal. 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 London. 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 Moscow. Warsaw. 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 Moscow. Moscow. Casablanca. Casablanca. Cape Town. Cape Town. Riyadh. Seoul. Seoul. Bangkok. 
Tokyo. Tokyo. Sydney. Sydney. Okay, so these are time zones. For example, let's check. Vancouver and Los Angeles are in the same time zone. Vancouver and Los Angeles. Uh, Mexico City and Central America are in the same time zone. So we have the same time. In El Salvador, it is, what time is it? 8.27 p.m. So in Mexico City, is the same time. Okay. Uh, Montreal and New York City are also in the same time zone. And Lima. Okay. What other cities are in the same time zone? Tell me, look at the map and tell me what cities are in the same time zone? It's 6 p.m. No, no, no. What cities? Cities in the same time zone. Montreal with Lima. Montreal and Lima. Yes. Esta ya se las mencioné yo, de aquí para acá. Tell me. New York City, San Juan. New York City and San Juan. No. No. No, New York City. Está aquí, ¿eh? Y San Juan está. Ah, sí. No. Ah. Uh -huh. Cuba. Sorry? Cuba. Uh, London, Casablanca. London en oh, sí. Casablanca. London, uh -huh, en Casablanca. Yes, they are in the same same time zone. Are Tokyo and Sydney in the same time zone? Yeah. No. 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 No, yes? No. You see? Check? No. They are different. Oh. Uh, are. Uh, what Seoul. Seoul. Moscow. Which one? Warsaw and Moscow. Warsaw and Moscow. Okay. Yes. It's the same color. Uh -huh. well, yeah. Okay. Maybe we are going back to this map later. Tal vez regresemos a este mapa después. Para practicar algo. Uh, let's continue then with the conversation. We have this conversation. What time is it there? What time is it there? The question is, ¿qué hora es ahí? Mm -hmm. Repeat after me, please. Hello. 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 Hi, Debbie. This is John. Hi. I'm calling Hi. from Australia. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? Australia. I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? 
I at I conference I in Sydney. I remember. 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 All right. What time is it there? All right. What time, what time is, is it there? It there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Yes, o'clock in the morning. In the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. Four a.m. Oh, I am really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. That's okay. Wait now. Okay, very good. Any question with this conversation? No, it's fine. Okay. Um, now, let's practice one more time. I am Debbie and you are John. Okay? Okay. 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 Hello. Hi, Hi David. Hi, That's John. 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 from Australia. Australia? Uh, I can come from in Sydney. Remember? 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 All right. What time is it there? It's Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. <laughs> Okay, now you are Debbie and I am John. So you begin. One, two, three. Hello. 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 Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. 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 I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, yes. Four, 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 four a.m. Oh. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Uh, okay. Now. Okay. Why is it, John? Sorry. Why? Why is John sorry? Why? Porque John le dice a Debbie, I'm really sorry. De, yo lo siento. Yo no lo siento. Ajá. Yo lo siento. Yes. Está despertando a Debbie al 4 a.m. Terrible. Okay, very good. Okay, I will give you um, two minutes to practice the conversation in pairs, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, ahí Pero tienen bien. la, ya la tienen en el grupo de WhatsApp, para que ahí puedan... Eh, ahorita. Para que ahí puedan ver la conversación. And practice. Okay. 
Entren todos, por favor, para que nadie quede sin pareja. Grupos de dos. Entren a las sesiones. Ahí les va la invitación para los grupos pequeños. Javier, Javier, me escucha. Entre a la sesión, por favor, ahí lo están esperando para practicar. Club de Aris, Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I am really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Okay. <laughs> Por aquí les dejo a Andrea porque con quien estaba no no entró a la sesión. No respondió. Ajá. Sí. Bueno. Hola. Hello. Hola. Vale. Practique primero con Marvin y después practicamos. Con, ahorita, ¿cómo eh, practicaría? Ah, uh, usted con Marvin. Por ahí me pareció que necesitaban ayuda. Es correcto, aquí vamos pidiendo ayuda. Ok, WhatsApp. Ok. Eh, eh, por ejemplo, donde dice, y donde la, la pronunciación que dice John, donde dice 
I am at a, se pronuncia I'm at, at o I'm at, at conference. I'm at a I'm at a conference in Sydney. At a, ah, okay, at a, I'm at, at, a at a at a at a at a. Ah, I'm at a conference in Sydney. At a conference. At a conference. Pero si es solamente en corto at a. No. Si se lee en corto es a, a pero si es rápido es a la conference. No. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Teacher, Tenía esa duda ahí. Teacher, y donde en el párrafo de, de John, ¿cómo pronunciar calling? Calling. Calling. I'm calling. Call, call, calling. I am calling. Mm -hmm. Calling. Okay, see you later. Okay. with the conversation? No. 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 Okay. Uy, pero se desertaron cuatro. Me vienen, están entrando. No le gustó el acento. Okay. Let's continue then. Video to practice the time. Let's take a look to this video to practice the time, la, la hora. Vamos a, a ver cómo dar la hora. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. Learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's 1 o'clock. It's 1.05. It's 5 after 1. It's 1.15. It's a quarter after 1. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. 
instead of one o'clock, we will say two. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's two o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past two. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to three. Our last example, it's a quarter to three or it's 2.45. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. In the morning, a.m. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Midnight, a.m. Let's uh, practice these time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's nine o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's eight o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's three in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. Okay, um, let me go to this. No time set, so we don't have too much time. Okay, I'm I'm gonna show you another video from YouTube to have another way to to tell the time. So this may help. Okay, give me a second. Watch this video, please. Only two minutes from this video. This video is, is a little bit longer, but I want to show you just... It's two o'clock. It's five past two. It's ten past two. It's quarter past two. It's twenty past two. It's twenty five past two. It's half past two. It's 
It's twenty five to three. It's twenty to three. It's quarter to three. It's ten to three. It's five to three. It's three o'clock. Okay. Uh, ahí les dejo en WhatsApp el el link del uh, video ese de YouTube. Es más largo. No lo pueden. El resto son como ejercicios ¿verdad? para practicar. Una The pregunta y por una pregunta, ¿y por qué la, o cuando va diciendo la hora en los primeros minutos? ¿Por qué primero dice los minutos y después la hora? Hay dos formas de decirlo. Aquí en esta imagen podemos verlo. ¿Ya? Eh, por ejemplo, la hora exacta. It's one o'clock. Ok, you see here. Repeat after me, please. It's one o'clock. Ahí en ese video de YouTube hay un errorcito en la escritura porque le falta la K en, al principio. ¿Verdad? Pero es así. It's one o'clock. Eso es la hora en punto. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. This it's one o oh five. It's one o oh five. Recuerden que el O es zero, ¿verdad? Una cero cinco. It's one o oh five. O, it's five after one. U otros, como en el video que vimos, dice past one. Pueden encontrar ambas formas, ¿ok? It's five. Es cinco pasados de la una sería. Cinco después de la una. It's five after one o five past one. No sería, no iría entonces, it's five later one. No. No. Ok, repeat. It's five after one. It's five after one. It's five past one. It's five past one. One. Anda. O sea, pueden encontrar indistintamente el past o after, cualquiera de los dos. ¿Ok? Ambos son correctos. Next, dice, it's 1.15. It's 1.15. It's a quarter after one. It's a quarter after one. Or it's a quarter past one. It's a quarter. It's a quarter past one. Okay. What is quarter? Quarter is cuarto. Okay. Good. It's a soto. It's one thirty. It's one thirty. Ahora también pueden encontrar. It's 
half past one or it's half after one. Y otra forma. Es, Ajá. Y hal es. Half es mitad, media. Ah, ok. Ok. It's half past one or half after one. Luego tenemos it's one forty. Ok. Or it's twenty to two. Uh -huh. 20 para yes and finally it's 145 or it's a quarter it's a quarter to two okay people we have to stop right now it's, it's time to the next class uh, practice please uh, incluso ahí les dejé un ejercicio en, en whatsapp sobre la hora sería bueno que lo, si lo pueden hacer háganlo y lo vemos mañana ok ok, okay. okay people okay. have a good night see you tomorrow good night. take good care night. see you tomorrow y no vayan a hacer cola al Senade, que es por gusto. <risa> <risa> bye, bye. bye, bye. bye, bye.